Uh, I'm at the airport right now and I'm eating Burger King Whopper, double Whopper with bacon. Bacon and I think I got large fries and a medium soda. This is the total, it's not cheap, but I like to eat Burger King every once in a while. Scooter helmet shop, and here they have uh, pretty good prices for helmets. I ended up getting one for like 350 baht. Couple cap. Here is a place, I will leave the link in the description. I am so tired, man. I didn't sleep very much. What's up guys? So I made it back to my apartment and yeah, Bangkok was nice. The videos were not very detailed. I just breezed through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'd be down to visit next time and uh, do a more in-depth review of Bangkok. But, uh, it was really hot. Traffic is crazy. The food is pretty good. I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive than Chiang Mai, but it's not that much different. I didn't end up getting a Bitcoin ATM. There is several Bitcoin ATMs in Bangkok, but I just didn't have enough time. I think I'm just going to end up getting Bitcoin on mine. I'm going to head out though, get some rest. So it's raining pretty hard right now. Rainy season is still going on, even though it hasn't been raining very much lately. Look how rainy it is. Streets are flooded. Now this raincoat is a decent raincoat. You can get these around uh, 69 to 100 baht. Pretty cheap. Uh, they're better than the 7-Eleven quality Tip right now you guys have seen pan tip before but if you watch my other videos but uh, I didn't show you guys the food court well here's a place where you can charge your phone uh, I believe that you have to pay for it yep use coins or a card and just trust that nobody will take your stuff No, it doesn't have a window either. Okay. Yeah, here is a food court. It's a bit more than the street food, but it's not, not by too much.
35 baht, 40 baht. It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same though. Some of them are more expensive, but it's not even that much. 50 baht, these are 50 baht. You get soup and omelet. So I got a mango smoothie. Mak Mong. Mak Mong is mango. They use cash only. Ended up getting pork noodles. And then I just put some sprouts, vegetables, and some uh, pepper on there. This was 40 baht and this was 35 baht. So I just finished my soup. And I tried one of these. These are like uh, mochi balls, but more bitter. But they taste pretty good. What is this called? Curry. Garlic. Uh, so here's some garlic pieces. What is this called? Saku. Saku. So my bill for my phone was 447 baht. And you can pay this monthly at the kiosk, which is in Pantip. Or you can just pay it online on an app. There's uh, cheaper services, but uh, I think this one's one of the best ones. So I am at Macro right now, and which is a store that is like Costco or Walmart. And we're gonna check out some foods. Upstairs, they have area where you can get silverware, plates, or washer, dryer, refrigerator, home appliances. On the bottom is where you can get food. There's different aisles you can go to. Just like Costco. I'm gonna make some golden curry. This is a Japanese brand. Very good. Onions, yeah, I need onions. You gotta get carrots, onions, meat, and potatoes. Okay, so potatoes are 39 baht or 35 baht per kilo. Imported ones are 35 baht. All right, so we just need like, let's, let's do another small one. Sometimes you can put garlic in it, but we're not going to use garlic. Thai avocados, 100 baht. So sometimes they have discounted foods that uh, they're about to throw away. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. We managed to get some onions. I only need one sauce packet. 
come in these little cubes. My chicken is already cooking. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. I got my rice from the market, so I don't have to cook any. But I might need some more later. And some gang pit. This is really good. It's basically like spaghetti, spaghetti sauce with meat. But I like it. It tastes good. It was about like 15 baht for this and some veggies to go with it. Let me pull this out. Okay. Doesn't look appealing, but it tastes good. Also, another sauce, which is a green tomato. It's basically the same thing as gang pit. The meat and vegetables are ready. I'm about to put the curry cube in. Just these big blocks. Mix it in, let it boil for a little bit, and then turn the heat down, and it's ready. Has a very uh, spice flavor to it, a Japanese curry. Very, very hearty, very, uh, very nice. It's not super spicy, but it's, it's pretty good. I think most Japanese curry is not really that spicy. So I'm pretty full now. But I think this is about <clears throat> four meals.